What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Bob's Garage. And today I'm going to teach you how to test your clock spring in your B5 Audi S4. So if you have watched any of my other videos, you may have seen me remove my clock spring. <clears throat> the backstory is, last year I was working on my heater core, I took off my steering wheel to do that, and I played with um, the steering angle sensor. And basically I spun it around too many times and messed up my clock spring. So just um, upon further inspection, I was uh, this is the one I removed that was not working. This is a new one that I bought. To replace it so curious if you can see it here but up in this window here is a little bit of an indicator you can kind of see how it's red I believe and this is the replacement it does not have that in the corner so if you notice if I spin watch this window up here but if I spin the clock spring, watch the window, it cleared. See how that red flag is no longer in the window? Now it looks like the replacement one. If I spin it back, it popped back in the window. So I want to say that's an indicator for your steering angle sensor. So now it's gone. And there it is back. So basically if it's on the red, it's not right. So that has me thinking, maybe this clock spring is still good. I don't know. Um, I did also notice this, which is probably not going to show up in this video. But you can see it twinkling in there. One of the golden pins inside there is bent to hell and I don't know if that happened upon removal or what but so I just basically wanted to double check that this new clock spring is functional or working and the whole point of a clock spring as you may or may not know is to pass the electrical connections from the steering column to the steering wheel itself. So it allows us to turn the steering wheel but still have those electrical connections like the horn, the airbag, and uh, in my case, my car's a Tiptronic, the Tiptronic shifting buttons on the steering wheel. <clears throat> so what I got here is my multimeter. And this is just a quick and dirty test. We're gonna put it on the audible setting it just gives us a tone if we have pass through and all we're going to do is just put one probe on one of the connectors and the other probe is going to go on this side of the clock spring so we're getting a tone so that was on this bank of conductors let's try the other bank So we're getting a tone on both banks. So that tells me that this should be working. I didn't test every single lead, but that's good, good enough. Here's the old one or the bad one. So we're gonna try it a couple different ways. So right now we have the red flag showing in the window here. So let's, let's, let's try testing this out here. Okay, I'm not getting any tone at all. Let me spin it over to where the red flag is not showing. Okay, so now it's not showing. I'm gonna do the exact same thing as I just did before. I'm not getting any tones at all. So I, I could be wrong, but I wanna say that red flag is just for the steering angle sensor. So without having to hook a laptop up to the car, figure out if it's wrong, um, you would just spin this until that red flag is no longer there. I'm, I could be wrong on that, 
comment below if you know otherwise because this is this is the, the orientation that I took it out of the car just like this and the red flag is tripped but I know for a fact based off of using my laptop and, and bag data that this steering angle sensor as it is right here should be right about zero so I'm not sure what that red flag is but I don't know so maybe it's off 720 degrees or so and VAG is shown, showing that as zero I don't know so so this is the bad one or the old one that's bad and other than that we just showed by testing it by putting the uh, probe basically if we get a tone that shows continuity that means that there's that the electrical connection from this point all the way to this point is a straight path there's no breaks in it because we didn't get a tone on this one the old one that's telling me that it's broke internally the new one seems to be good and if you notice the new one actually came like this shipped to me like this um, this was bought used I should say but um, the the seller zip tied it so it can't spin because if it spins too far it's gonna break just like this one so that's it that's how you test your clock spring on a B5 Audi and let me know if you have any comments or questions and don't forget to comment rate subscribe and see you next time okay so here's the new clock spring and before we install it in the car all we're gonna do is visually inspect it so we don't have a red flag in the window and we're gonna just take a look at all of the gold pins and make sure there's no, none of them are bent or anything like that because if there's a little bit of a bend in them or a kink or anything you're gonna crush them when you reinstall it and plug in your your connectors so there's three different wire connectors slots in the back and two on the front and just a note look at this over here this is like another connector but there's no gold pin sticking out of it I wonder if that was for a possible like steering wheel heating element or something like that how cool would that have been so this one doesn't have any pins in it um, I don't know I'm curious if anyone knows what that could have been for let me know um, this is it a tiptronic one so it has more wire connectors than a s typical manual car would have but there's still an empty connector over there so there was something else going on here so we're gonna plug in this tiny little piece of wire into here and then reinstall it back in the car and reassembly is just the opposite of the removal process so stay tuned for more okay I just wanted to make a couple more notes between the differences of these clock springs while I have them out and, and accessible so my old one here on the left the part number is 1JO959654M as in Mary. The new one that I got is 1JO959654L as in Larry. So the old one was an M, and the new one that I'm replacing it with is an L. I hope to God it works. Uh, what else do we have? It looks like there's a date on the original one that says 6-6-2001. And this one here says um, March 27, 2001. They both over here on the corner have a Volkswagen, Audi, and Skoda emblem. They both have the same one. And over here, it's stamped a little bit different, but it says PC plus ABS. Um, let's see, they both right here say C10. They both, uh, what else do they have here? They both say ATW over in this area here. And there's a smaller, like a, almost like a serial number or something down here that's different. So the new one is 1897010, and the old one was 2116004. And then there's like a, another number over here that says 1103 on the new one. The stock or original one says 2488. They both say Germany on them. 
Um, this one, they both say POM over here. What else? It looks like this, this replacement one has an arrow. It's currently pointing like here. Almost like it's pointing to the window. Um, yeah, although, I mean, they look, they, you know, they look the same. Uh, by comparison on the back, um, same connectors, same everything. So I'm really hoping this new one works and I don't have any sort of programming issues or something like that. But we'll see. So stay tuned for more.